Hey YouTube, Opinionated Reviewer here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to save your SHSH blob using iFate. Now, I did a video on this already when it had just released, but that video was kind of talking about all the features in it and also showing you how to save your SHSH blobs for it. And what I want to do is just do a video that's dedicated to just saving your SHSH blob instead of just talking about all the features that iFate has. Now, the good thing about iFate is as long as you're on the firmware, you can save the SHSH blobs for it, even if Apple stops signing for it. So right now, this uh, iPhone 4 that I'm going to use, it's on iOS 5. 0.1 and Apple has stopped signing for this but unlike Tiny Umbrella iFake can still save the SHSH blob even if Apple stops signing. The only thing is you have to be on the firmware that you want to save your SHSH blobs for. So if I want to save 4.3.3 for this I can't because I'm not on 4.3.3 but I'm on 5.0.1 so I can save the SHSH blob for 5.0.1 so I'm going to go ahead and save the SHSH blob for 5.0.1. Now after I'm finished with this video I'm going to do a video showing you guys how to downgrade using the SHSH blobs or that you create with iFate. Now that's, I'm going to talk about downgrading in that video. I'm not going to do it in this video. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. First thing you're going to have to do is download iFate. Link is going to be in the description for that. And also I'm going to post a link in the description to a guide, a written guide, if you guys want to go ahead and check that out and you don't understand my accent, etc, etc. So download iFaint. Go ahead and right click it. Click properties. Click compatibility. Check off run this program compatibility mode for. Check when select Windows Service Pack 2. Check run this program as an administrator. Hit apply and then hit OK. And that's only for Windows 7 and Windows Vista users. Windows XP users, you don't have to worry about that. So now we're going to go ahead and just open up iFate. Now go ahead and click OK. Now these are all the features that iFate has. The only one that we're going to be using for this video is Dump SHSH Blobs. So we're going to go ahead and select Dump SHSH Blobs. And it's telling you here all the information, the devices that this version supports. You can see the firmware, sorry, and the devices. So let's go ahead. We're going to proceed. Proceed. Let's go. We're not dumping Apple TV. Or if you are dumping an Apple TV, you can go ahead and select Apple TV. I'm not. I'm using an iPhone 4. So I'm going to select no for that. So now we're going to get ready to put our device into DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, don't worry. I'm going to show you. You can go ahead and power off your device or you can do it with your device on. First thing you're going to do is hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds. Then you're going to release the power button and keep on holding the home button for 15 seconds or until iFate recognize your device. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and select start when we're ready. So let's go. Start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Release. 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. iFate has recognized our device, so we're just going to go ahead and let iFate run through its procedures. It's going to go through all of these steps. You can see it has 13 different steps. So I'm going to go ahead and come back when iFate has finished running through these steps. All you have to do is just let it go through the steps, okay? Now I'm back with this screen. That didn't even take one minute. That was super fast. It's gotten a lot faster since the first time I used it. But now you're going to have to save your SHS blob someplace that you want. You don't have to worry if you misplace it because you can always download it back from their servers. But I'm going to go ahead and save it in a for any folder that I can find it. I have my own iFate folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it right there. But as I said, if you don't have, if you can't find it, you can always go ahead and download it from their server. I'm going to talk more about that in my downgrading video. So that's basically it. There you're done. Your SHS blobs are safe for iFaint. But look out for that. My video I'm going to do next showing you guys how to use these same SHS blobs to downgrade using iFaint. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day. Make sure you show that thumbs up button some love. And if you aren't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button above. Like my Facebook fan page and follow me on Twitter. I answer questions a lot faster on Twitter than I do on YouTube. Oh yeah, and check out my previous video if you haven't already.